This is one of the two heaviest pieces. The other heavy piece is the big stone rotating portion that's on top of this. Now the front piece goes on. These keyhole slots are just large enough for the heavy screws to fit. on it, I thought, well, maybe it'd be interesting if I put some holes in it. This left rotating arm goes in place. You slide the shaft out. Spacer, then it just slips in place, put a nut on it, and then the piece goes on, and just there, put a nut. Go. Okay, so now this goes in like so, the spacer, and then this goes into the slot here. This would be the one you want to do with um, what I'd send to a gallery. But to do that, what am I going to connect to? So I've got some springs. There's a spring inside of here between here and here. They didn't make some mechanisms here and have them do something. And so I've made up some wood pieces here and wood pieces and connect all the stuff together. 
but it, it, it looks like it belongs either in a museum or in like the lobby of a, some sort of a large building where a lot of people would be able to see it. Well, when Bill first filmed it, it wasn't in this form. It had like I was amazed, absolutely amazed. I just think it's a work of art. I love it. I just love it. I, I, I love the way the pieces that he cut out are um, incorporated into the design, but it's in yeah. how it all works. Well, it fascinates me. It's the kind of piece I could just sit and stare at probably for right. a good hour. I mean, I've seen a lot of sculptures. I've never seen any moving sculptures. I mean, this is just such an interesting concept. <laughs> This is the project. Wow, it's gorgeous. It kind of has a feeling of some sort of like timekeeping device to me.